There are other things that you could cut less. There are other things that you could do more of. Uh, the border adjustable is reckoned, I think, by the scoring of the Congressional Budget Office to add up to something like a trillion dollars over 10 years. That's a big number. Right. And 10 years is the scoring period that the CBO uses. Um, we've asked you, though, in, in the past to handicap what's happened in the markets. If you were to handicap what's going to happen on this border adjustment tax, which, by the way, may have a big impact on the markets, you would say what? You think it happens? I, I think there will be something found to fill the trillion dollar hole, whether it will be exactly border adjustable, and if it is border adjustable, whether it will be in exactly the same form and size is an open question. Okay, I want to ask you, though, about this. This is Larry Summers on our air recently, uh, relating to border adjustment and relating to perhaps the approach of the administration on what he calls hyper-protectionism. He says consumers will pay more for their goods, which means they'll have less spending power uh, to spend on American goods, and they'll definitely have consequences for the economy. Other nations will retaliate, and they'll have consequences for the health of our companies. The consequences of protectionism are that we will be poorer and the world will be less safe. If you were on our set with Larry, you would have told him what? I would have said, look at China. If, if trade deficits are good, then how can trade surpluses not be horrible? That's, in effect, what he's saying, is that you're better off having a trade deficit than a surplus. But you look at China, it's been a great economic miracle, and it's perfectly obvious that that's largely driven by its trade surplus. But you don't worry about retaliation? You don't worry about other countries? I, I, I looked last night. Uh, Germany has said that they would retaliate. Others have said they ret would retaliate. China said they would retaliate. That, that's not something we should worry about? Well, first of all, I haven't said that we're in accord with anything like a 20% border adjustable tax. Those countries are already taking advantage of things. Germany has been an enormous beneficiary of the weak euro. I don't call that currency manipulation on their part because they're just part of the EU. But the fact is that what drives the German export engine is the low euro value. So the theory of border adjustable is the currencies would readjust and therefore it would be a zero-sum game. I'm a little skeptical about the theory that there's somehow a totally free lunch right. and that the markets will exactly absorb everything. But we do need to do something to fill that hole. Right. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.